Well, good morning. It's good to be with you for this time of prayer and reflection this morning. Today, as many of you will be aware, is the feast of the birth of John the Baptist. And we're very fortunate today that Christo Caulfield has very kindly prepared a reflection for us um, based on the account of the birth of John. Now, if you're Norwegian, you probably had a celebration last night, uh, perhaps a bonfire, perhaps something else that you did. Um, if you're a Norwegian who's lived abroad for just slightly too long, like me, you may have made a bonfire and forget to light it. Um, well, there's always today. Um, <laughs> before we start now, um, I'd just like to um, direct your attention to, um, to the hymn that I'll be singing in a minute. Or, um, it's Colours of Day. Many of you will know this hymn already. If you've got a hymn book, it's number 27. Um, and if not, uh, just try to sing along. Um, so, and for those who would like to follow in their Bibles as well, the reading today um, about the account of the birth of St. John is Luke chapter 1, verses 57 to 66, and then a jump to verse 80, so including that. Um, but let's start now by lighting our candles, remembering that God is with us in all places and at all times, there is God. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. So our reading from Luke chapter 1. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. Her neighbours and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give him. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John and all of them were amazed. Immediately, his mouth was opened and his tongue freed, and he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all their neighbours, and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, What then will this child become? For indeed, the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the wilderness until the day he appeared publicly to Israel. This is the word of the Lord. and a reflection prepared for us by Christo Caulfield, reader in this deanery. The birth of John the Baptist. Today we celebrate the festival of the birth of John the Baptist. Our reading from the weekday Eucharist tells of not just the birth itself, importantly, we read of the detail of the naming of John. How this happened is found in the vision of John's father, Zechariah, at the beginning of the chapter. 
After the angel had spoken to him, Zechariah was unable to speak until after the birth, as we heard in the reading. Nine months is a long time for a father to be waiting in silence. John was the last of the Old Testament prophets. We have this message clearly from the angel who brought the news to his father. But we know very little of his early life. This makes the last verse in the reading all the more intriguing. He became strong in spirit and he lived in the desert. It is possible that he lived there for over 15 years during which time he became an itinerant preacher with a strong following. Certainly, this attracted attention from the temple authorities in Jerusalem. But much of his time may well have been spent in silence, set apart from the world to fulfil a prophecy, part of God's plan. This was John's unique calling, and it involved a lot of waiting. As I have written before, the impatient world we inhabit is not good at waiting. When it is asked to wait, it becomes fearful and anxious, losing all sense of peace. Everything about John's life required waiting, and especially so for his mother Elizabeth, who was barren. According to Luke, she was well on in years. Much about our lives in the last four months has involved some form of waiting. For a few, this has been easy. For the majority, it has been very challenging and continues to be. Waiting, too, can be a blessing because it could and should be a time for growth and fulfilment, as it was for John. So a very big thank you to Christo for preparing that for us. And as we move into a time of prayer now, um, I invite you all to join me. And let's still our hearts before God, remembering all those people who are in need of our prayers at this time. All those we know of who are in need of God's healing presence and his love at this time. And Heavenly Father, we hold before you all those people, those that we know and those we don't know who are struggling at this time. We remember especially those who have been shielding for a long time now and who are beginning to see that there's an opening that they might, uh, they might stop to do that um, within the next few weeks. This too will be a transition. And Father, we pray that the return to some sense of normality for us all will be a positive experience, not one of further chaos and confusion. And we remember all those who have been tirelessly working to support and help those who are struggling. We remember and pray for all care workers and workers in the NHS. And all those key workers who have kept our society running. Help us remember 
how important their contributions are after this crisis is over. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, just like you sent John the Baptist to prepare the way for Christ, we remember with gratitude all those people have prepared the way for Christ in our lives. And we pray for the grace to follow in John the Baptist's footsteps. Speaking truth to power. Living simply. And working with the aim of bringing other people to Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, you are the God of peace. We pray for peace in this world. For reconciliation between nations and individuals. We pray for all those who work in relief agencies or who work for refugees. Those who feed the hungry and clothe the poor. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the collect for the feast of the birth of John the Baptist. Almighty God, by whose providence your servant John the Baptist was wonderfully born and sent to prepare the way for your son, our Saviour, by the preaching of repentance. Lead us to repent according to his preaching and after his example constantly to speak the truth, boldly to rebuke vice and patiently to suffer for the truth's sake. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We gather all these prayers into one as we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I'll now sing Colours of Day. of day dawn into the mine the sun has come up the night is behind go down in the city into the street and let's give the message to the people we meet so light up the fire and let the flame burn open the door let Jesus return, take seeds of his spirit, let the fruit grow, tell the people of Jesus, let his love show. Go through the park, on into the town, the sun still shines on, it never goes down, the light of 
of the world is risen again. The people of darkness are needing a friend. So light up the fire and let the flame burn. Open the door, let Jesus return. Take seeds of his spirit, let the fruit grow. Tell the people of Jesus, let his love show. Open your eyes, look into the sky. The darkness has come, the sun came to die. The evening draws on, the sun disappears. But Jesus is living, his spirit is near. So light up the fire and let the flame burn. Open the door, let Jesus return. Take seeds of his spirit, let the fruit grow. Tell the people of Jesus, let his love show. Through the tender compassion of our God, may the dawn from on high break upon us and guide us into the way of peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.